Welcome back and thank you so much for hanging out with us at 1230. I am Faith Jassy. So it's day two of testimony and a hearing over accusations of misconduct against Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. Nine co-defendants in the 2020 election interference case want a judge to disqualify her because of her romantic relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. Well, today Willis was expected to get back on the stand after yesterday's fiery testimony, but we learned this morning that likely won't be happening. 11 Alive's Grace King joining us live outside the Fulton County Courthouse with an update. Grace, last time we spoke with you, we were talking about her father who was on the stand. What's happening in that courtroom right now? Well, right now that courtroom is on break, but like you said, we thought we would hear more from Fonnie Willis this morning and instead special prosecutor Anna Cross said she didn't have any other questions and instead they called her dad to the stand. During the time period of 2019 to uh, the end of uh, 2020, uh, are you aware um, if Miss Willis uh, was dating someone? Yeah, she she did. She had she had a boyfriend when I first got there. And uh, did you meet uh, her boyfriend? Yeah, I met him often. I did not meet Nathan Wade until 2023. That is in line with what we heard from Wade and Willis themselves yesterday. Both said their relationship didn't start until 2022. However, that contradicts testimony from a former friend of Willis's, Robin Yurdy, who told the court it's possible that their relationship started in 2019. Now today, the court also revisited parts of Wade's testimony from yesterday, where he said there was no receipts for any of the money Willis gave him for trips they took together. Now that's been a crucial point as the defendant's attorneys question whether the money paid to Wade, who was chosen by Willis to prosecute this case, has been used to Wade and Willis's financial benefit. Miss Willis uh, paid you in cash all the money for the entire trip. It was a gift for you for your birthday, correct? Yes, sir. And I'm sure you probably have the deposit slips where you took the cash and deposited the cash into your account, don't you? I did not deposit the cash in my account. You don't have a single solitary deposit slip to corroborate or support any of your allegations that you were paid by Mrs. Willis in cash, do you? No, sir. Now, Willis's dad says this makes sense because that's how he raised his daughter. He also keeps large amounts of cash on him just in case. I've always kept cash, uh, you know, and I've told my daughter, you keep six months worth of cash always. For example, I had three safes in my house. Now, her dad finish testifying around noon, but there are several other witnesses we expect to hear from this afternoon. We'll of course keep you updated as we hear from them. Grace, thank you so much. Excellent reporting for keeping us updated there. 11 Alive will be covering today's hearing throughout the day. You can watch the hearing on 11alive.com as well as 11 Alive Plus. That is our streaming app. It's free to download on Roku, Amazon Fire and Am Apple TV devices.